whispers of time, the mossy suburbs. In an abandoned suburb where silence reigned as the monarch of the fallen kingdom, buildings once teeming with the chatter of daily life stood cloaked in a tapestry of moss and creeping tendrils. Here lay a forgotten realm, a cityscape over which Mother Nature had unstoppably reclaimed her dominion. Each structure bore the weight of emerald blankets. Not just moss, but the memories of centuries draped over man-made skeletons. Time had transformed these edifices into vessels of history, whispering old tales through their broken windows and crumbling facades. The suburb streets, which once echoed with the footsteps of commuters and playful children, were now silent, save for the rustling leaves and the occasional chime of a bifurcated wind chime hanging from a deserted balcony. The pavements were labyrinths of greenery. Each crack and crevice nurtured the life of vibrant flora that bloomed with a vigor that juxtaposed the stillness of their surroundings. Half veiled by climbing ivy, one house seemed to beckon with a spectral finger. Its walls, dotted with the lichen of the bygone eras, whispered stories of past dinners and laughter-filled gatherings, muffled now by the verdant growth that muted its tails. A staircase, its handrail long since succumbed to decay, spiraled upwards to the heavens, as if offering a path for the ghosts of its former inhabitants. Peering through what remained of a painless window, one could see an interior stripped of its grandeur. Here stood a living room where humans once congregated, now sanctuaries for birds and foxes, the mantelpiece photographs, replaced by the random arrangement of wildflowers and fungi. Each mossy silhouette was a monument to resilience, to the power of nature's unwavering stride through time. The encroaching vines were nature's reclaiming arms, embracing the man-made till they ceased to stand apart from the verdant world that consumed them. Broken shards of glass lay scattered like diamonds in the dust, reflecting the interplay of shadow and light as the day trekked across the sky, indifferent to the entropy beneath. In their dereliction, the buildings symbolized not just abandonment by their creators, but the frailty of human endeavors. Everything yields to the relentless tide of time, and all is ephemeral. Yet, amidst this desolation, life thrived. Butterflies flitted about, buoyed by soft breezes. Their delicate wings fluttered against a patchwork of brown and green, the only signs of movement in this tableau of stillness. Here, a family of saplings had sprouted atop a roof, each root delving into mortar-like veins of life, drawing nourishment from the ruins. Indeed, the suburb was not dead. As the gentle hum of the wind traveled through the remains, the message was clear. Life persists in its assertion anew in the face of loss and abandonment. For every moment of forsaken humanity, the relentless surge of nature's seeds sowed the earth with continuance, a testament to the indomitable cycle on which the world turns. As the day yielded to the embrace of twilight, the suburbs rested, not in decay, but in transformation. The moss and plants guarding each structure heralded an end and the enduring promise of beginnings. In the whispers of time, the suburbs breathed an undercurrent of life, a profound solace amidst the persistent march of the ages. <laughs>